Since your sophomore year now, how would you say that you've been evolving so far in your overall style of play and uh, what have been some of the biggest lessons you've learned since you started playing for Seton Hall? Um, just how to slow down. Uh, just when to go fast and when not to go fast. Just how to keep my composure when things aren't going well. Uh, and just trying to pull out wins. Uh, just, just, just having that extra... That, just having that grit to want to wanna just you know, win the game and try to do anything that's possible to win. What was the biggest adjustment for you when you first came to you know Seton Hall when you were playing collegiately from high school to college? What was the biggest adjustment for you? I think it was much more aggressive. Uh, but coming in, I had kind of a college-ready body, I would say. So uh, just by how aggressive the defenses play, uh, just, I never really got doubled off a screen and roll. Or I never had to guard a guy running off the down screen. So it's just little stuff like that. Uh, it's little stuff that you would never expect it would be, but it's, those are the things. Uh, what would you say, in addition to helping the team get wins, some of your personal goals for this year would be? Uh, just, just dig in. Uh, just, just showing my team that I want to win, play great defense, uh, make the right plays. It's not every day. Uh, just, 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 just pick them up when they're down. Every day is gonna be. Uh, just, just try to win. Uh, I just want them to see how bad I want to win. Everything they need. And hopefully it will, it will translate to them. Have you well been doing anything during the off season? Uh, any particular like either working on defense, working on your shooting? Like what are some of the things that you've been working uh, just, on? Just ball handling, a lot of screen and roll. Uh, just, just trying to become a more complete point guard. Uh, just, just trying to become a leader. Uh, just trying to be more, uh, much more vocal in the court. Just trying to help these guys out as much as possible. As a sophomore, do you think that it's possible that you know you could step up and be a leader, even though you're still, you know, a younger guy? Do you think that's something that could be done? Uh, I don't necessarily think it could be done. It has to happen. Uh, just. Just, just with all of us being sophomores doesn't mean that we can't lead a team. So, I mean, I, right now it has to happen because we're necessarily some of the oldest guys on the team. So, I think if it doesn't happen, then we'll be struggling. So, I think it has to happen. So. How are you liking all your teammates so far? How's everybody oh, been every, interacting? Everybody's, it's been everybody's good? great. Yeah, everybody's great. Uh, just the way they work hard, they show they want to win. Uh, and just, just that attitude. Uh, everybody has a chip on their shoulder and they. They, they want to show what Seton Hall is all about. Do you think like uh, the style of play will change this year at all, or do you guys think you continue to be aggressive and play the style that you did uh, last uh, year? We'll, we'll play we'll play aggressive style, uh, pressing a lot, just up tempo. And I think I think we'll be much better at at, at it. Uh, just just how athletic we are this year, and how how quick and just how aggressive we are, we'll, we'll be much better at it. Do you think uh, you and the team will be surprising some people this year? Oh, definitely. That's how that's how main goal. Uh, just, just come out, surprise people, and try to keep it, keep it at a steady pace through the whole season. I know fans are already excited as it is, but would you like to give them a message to get them even more excited? Uh, just be ready for us to play aggressive, fast. There's going to be a lot of highlights. So, what are some of your goals, hopes, and expectations in addition to helping the team win? Personal goals, hopes, and expectations for the year. My personal goals. I don't have personal goals. Okay. I got sure. team goals. Okay, well, so what are some of your team goals? My team goals is win the biggest tournament and make the NCAA. With it being, uh, you know, you and a lot of younger guys, how are you all going to come together and be all leaders and all help each other out as the year goes along? And on a team, everybody's a leader. Everybody have to be a leader because that's the rule right now. Everybody got to be a leader because we always together, we like brothers. Um, for you, what were some of the things that you were able to work on during the offseason? Did you work on anything? Or? Yeah, I worked on my free throw line because I really got a bad year last year. That was all mental, but I really prepared my mentality to be good this year. What was the biggest adjustment for you transitioning from the high school style of play to the college style of play? That was, that was really hard because it's not, it's, not, it's not the same. High school and college is way different. I really, that was a big change, but now I'm a sophomore and I've really been there before. What do you think, like, the biggest lesson that you were able to learn from last year that you'll take from this year? The biggest lesson is be mature, be a big guy. Last year, we all babies. We, our first year, you were babies. But this year, we, we all make sure we all think like grown men. And everything, I, I know everything will be good. Were you able to like talk to the seniors and learn a lot from them? Yeah, last year they helped me. Really, really, really good. Brandon Marbley, he helped me so much. I really appreciate everything he did. Now, say if like a younger guy were to come up to you and ask you about what it would take to be successful, are you yeah. open to talking to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always talk to them, especially the freshmen. I always talk to the big guys because I'm a big guy. This guy got to talk to the guards. 
no big I'll be talking to them like Bevan was talking to me last year because that and stuff like that they've been there before and I've been there before now and I know what kind of stuff I have to say to them well, what do you think it would mean for you and your teammates to not only do well but you know to make it to the national tournament what would all that mean for you all it means everything for me Right now, all I care about is win the biggest tournament of the NCAA tournament. I know the fans are really excited already, but do you have any message for them to get them even more excited? My mission is be ready. That's my message. Be ready because we're coming hard.